In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Saxon Math versus teaching textbooks. If you're trying to decide between the two, this is going to be a quick little video to help you decide which one might be better for your family. If this is the first time you're joining me, welcome. My name is Kylie Evans. I'm a homeschooling mom of two and a realtor in the Tampa Bay area. On this channel, I talk about homeschooling, different curriculums, reviews, and ideas to help you have the best homeschooling experience you could possibly have. If that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you can get notified each time I post a new video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I am going to talk about teaching textbooks first, and I'm talking about this through, um, through the eyes of only doing it with the textbook. I do not use the online version of it, and I have not actually ever used the CDs. Um, I know that people really like them, and I think it kind of takes you through the curriculum on it, but I, I'm a book person, so we like to use the book. So I have one in the Math 4. I think it starts at 3 and goes up to 7th, and then does pre-algebra, um, algebra, and pre-calculus. Teaching textbooks is designed for the student to be able to do this by themselves. So like the teacher student part of it is all kind of interconnected. And the lesson, the new lesson portion should take between five and 10 minutes to introduce um, the new topic that the student is going to be doing. And then they have um, five practice problems for the new topic. And then they do a review method where they go back in and for the remainder of the lesson, which is approximately like 15 to 20 more questions, it's review from less previous and prior lessons and units. Additionally, throughout the book, you will have quizzes that kind of just reviews everything. So it doesn't have practice questions, it just simply has the test. Teaching textbooks does come with a answer key manual, but I don't, I don't know where mine is. I use teaching textbooks. I used it when my girls were younger and I'm still using it with the fourth grader and I actually switched to Saxon Math with the sixth grader. And we'll talk about Saxon Math now and I'll tell you why I did that. Okay, so like I said, I use Saxon Math for my older um, daughter because I feel like it's more in well it, I don't feel like it it definitely is more involved it takes more time there are more problems and it should take more time I feel like as the material gets more difficult they're going to need more practice and Saxon does that for you Saxon math is um, designed I would say to have a little bit more instruction um, the Kids could probably read it themselves, but it's nice to just make sure that they have the new concept down. Um, it comes with the textbook and um, a booklet that's tests and worksheets. So there's um, different tons of math facts problems um, for practice. So that, that can be like in addition to the work that the kids can do. The beginning has review. I actually typically don't make my kids do the warm up. Um, then there's the new concept. The new concept should take about 10 to 15 minutes to do. And then there's about eight problems that practice the new concept for the kids. Um, then they go to the mixed practice, which is similar to the review in teaching textbooks, but there are more problems. Um, if your child has a concept down and you wanna skip a couple of them, that's fine, we do that. But this has more problems if they need more problems. There are about 30, sometimes there's a little more than that. So realistically, Saxon math should take longer to do than teaching textbooks. And as the math got more difficult for the kids or the concepts got harder, I wanted more practice problems. It's not that we do them every day, but I do like that I don't have to search up some new problems or practice problems in addition to that. There's plenty enough in Saxon math that the kids can get that practice in. And then there's also um, unit tests in the tests and worksheets booklet that comes with it. So you can do those as well. So teaching textbooks is 
probably a 30 minute lesson for the kids total getting all the problems done Saxon math is more involved takes more time so probably about an hour if they were really working the whole time on the problems both of them are great programs it just depends on how much time your kids or you want to put into math right now with them if they're interested go for it if they're not just getting that little bit of math with teaching textbooks might be the way to go. So this was short, it was sweet, it just wanted to give you kind of an overview. I use them both right now currently. The younger one is using teaching textbooks, the older one is using Saxon math. And I will shift the younger one into Saxon math, probably about fifth grade level. All right guys, if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. I am happy to chat with you more about each program. And I hope this helped. Hit the like button if you want more, you know, this versus that videos. I'm happy to do those too. We've been doing homeschool in a while and my mistakes can be avoided by you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.